Today in our 2013 Dodge Durango, we're going to take a look at and show you how to install the Takancha Prodigy P3 Trailer Brake Controller. This is a proportional controller that will work for one up to four axles. Its part number is 90195. We're also going to be using the Takancha plug-in wiring adapter. This part number is 3045-P. Here's what our brake controller is going to look like once we get it installed. The P3 is a really nice all-around brake controller. It's going to work for one up to four axles, and it really gives us a lot of settings to where we can customize this setup, not only for our trailer, but also for the driver. We look in our menu here, we can switch our brake type if we're using hydraulic or electric, that's easily selectable. Just hit OK there, it'll ask you to confirm it. And then here in the top corner, We've got our boost level. We've got boost level two, three, we can turn the boost level off or boost level one. The boost's gonna allow us to set our initial braking power and how aggressively those brakes are applied. In addition to that, of course, over here, we can change our power, our maximum output. So if we set it at four and go to max power to our brakes, as you can see, it's gonna go right up to four and that's it. This is gonna send power to our trailer in proportion or in relation to how quickly our car is decelerating. There's an accelerometer in there that'll move forward and back. The thing that's nice about the P3 is that we can mount this on a 360 degree plane. Um, it's got a self-leveling system inside of there. It's gonna allow it to be mounted if we wanted to up here. However you need to mount it in your application, it's gonna work out great. This is also gonna offer us five programmable settings. The settings can be not only set per trailer, but this can also be adjusted for different drivers. You know, everybody's going to apply their brakes differently. So it's really customizable, wide range of uses, and something that's really cool about it also, two tabs here on the outside. We can pull these off, separate our clip here on the back, and this can be taken right out of the vehicle. It's going to come with a nice protective carrying case. We can throw this in the glove box, tuck our wiring up there, and not have it exposed out here all the time. When we need it, we'll pull it right back out, slide our connector into place, and just reposition it right on our bracket. It's as simple as that. It's registering here. We've got our trailer hooked up, and we're going to be ready to go. Another great thing about the P3, right now we don't have any trailers connected or anything, so we've just got the, the, the beginning screen here. As soon as I make a connection at the rear side, you're going to see that it's indicated for us. You can see our screen changes now. We've got indicated right here a truck with a trailer on it, so we're going to know that it's ready for use, our trailer's connected. Another great thing are the built-in kind of a diagnostic system that if we're to lose connection or have some kind of a fault, you can see there now we're going to get the flash. No trailer connected. That's going to indicate that to you that you've got some kind of issue that needs to be addressed. Now our installation is going to begin by removing this it's kind of like a decorative or a cosmetic cover that's underneath the dash here. There's a couple of push pin fasteners that we'll take out. There, and over here. All right, and that should just come down out of the way for us, and that'll allow us access right up under the dash. Set that aside. If we want to, we can certainly reinstall this. If not, we don't have to. Now here's our parking brake lever. It comes up to a little white panel here. Right above that, we're gonna see our gray connector. That's what we'll plug into our pigtail. To release it, there's a little catch here on the bottom. We'll pull down on that, and then just give it a push rearward get it slid off. Once we've got that tab released, we'll just kind of push it forward slightly. And there you see it's going to come right off there and be accessible. You see a little tab? It's going to be located right there. You just want to pull down on that tab 
and then that'll allow you to slide it forward now. Now we can take the end of the pigtail. It'll only slide in one way. Slide that in. You want to hear it click, and then we'll push and pull just to make sure that it's nice and secure. Now here's the bracket that's going to come with the P3. As you can see, this offers a quick release here. It's got a quick release on the rear. So if we want to remove it and only put it in when we want it, we'll have that option. It's going to click in place nice and sturdy, and you've got a very narrow, kind of minimal bracket or minimal amount of hardware that you're going to need to secure it. It's going to go right on there, and this is going to be secured using the provided screws. Once we pick our location and pick our angle, we'll put our screws in and secure it. Now for mounting, you can see there's a nice little area right here. Our bracket would go in there nicely. We can put just a couple of small self-tapping screws in there. Really hold that place. That's going to give us a nice solid surface. As an alternative, you can bring it up here on your dash, wherever you'd like to have this mounted. If you want it up here high to keep it closer to you, or wherever you'd like to mount it, that's your option. I always like to keep them down here. That way we're not modifying anything up here. But the choice is yours, my friend. Now to secure it in place, we'll use the hardware provided. They're just a couple self-tappers. All right, that's nice and solid. Now let's bring our brake controller bracket into play. Now we're just tightening these up a little bit. It'll give us a little bit of friction, but not so much we can't move it. So we just have a little bit of range there. Now we'll bring in the brake controller itself, make our connection here on the back side. In there, almost like it was made to do that. Now we'll position the back side up in our bracket and just tip the front. Oops. Just tip the front up and it'll clip in here on this side, at the top, and on my side as well. All right. Now let's figure out how we want it positioned here. Kind of like to keep them up, you know, of course we've got our brake pedal here, so we don't want to be too far down. Okay, just put your foot in there and test how you, you're going to be moving. Let's see, that's all the way up. There's really no issues there with any interference, so we can mount it flush up against the bottom. Now we'll go ahead and secure both of our self-tappers here on the side. All right, and at this point, the controller's installed. Let's get that wiring tidied up down there. All right, now let's get our wires kind of tucked up here where they'll be out of the way. Now for the excess wiring we've got, we've got a nice cavity kind of over here that we're gonna be able to tuck most of this up into. Here, bring it over just like that. And we don't want to secure to any moving parts or anything like that but we can come to the solid part of the steering shaft up here. Put that wire tie right around there. And that should be perfect. It'll have everything up and out of the way. And we've got the rest of it tucked away nicely over here in case we'd ever need to get to it for any reason. Now let's just trim off the end of that zip tie and that'll have it taken care of. With the Prodigy Pre-3 braking controller working as it should on our 2013 Dodge Durango, that'll complete today's look and installation of part numbers 90195 and 3045-P.